I'm quite excited because I haven't done seascapes in a while. I haven't done a sunrise seascape shoot in a while. And at the same time, let me introduce you to this new filter system that anyone who just wants to keep everything simple, but at the same time have all the capabilities of an ND filter system, would love. Now this is what I'm going to try next. Imagine this, and this only has a width of about one inch, and that already includes this magnetic lens cap, so I'll take that out. This is actually already a set of three filters, set of three circular filters, and it actually already comes with its own magnetic adapter. Now this magnetic adapter has an 82 millimeter thread and in front of course is a magnetic mount. And this is actually optional for the filter system. Why? Because even if the filters themselves are magnetic, they also have a thread. So for example, I want to use say the three stop ND filter, IRND8. So this can actually still screw onto the front of the lens and that's screwed in. Now that can also act as my adapter if I want to stack my ND filters. For example, I want to shoot with a 9-stop ND filter. I can stack the 6-stop and the 3-stop just like that. I just really wanted to show how unique this is because it yes it, it's not a new thing to be using magnets well HNY also was the brand who started using magnets specifically on the square filter system then they came up with a revel ring system and then they made it so annoyingly simple now because again screw in your first filter and then everything on top of that will be just a snap because everything is magnetic so even if you forget the adapter that's not a problem anymore because you have magnets now and life is simpler now so to be honest it's too simple that I find it annoying in a good way anyway the reason why I brought out the filters is because I wanted to slow down my exposure because it's getting a little bit bright and I want to take advantage of that for some slow shutter seascape action. So I'm doing f11 one second at ISO 100. Well, we don't really have that much action on the waves right now, but that's totally fine. So it's really taking a bit of time for the sun to come out. And I already switched to the 6 stop. And now I want to do 9 stops. I actually want to do 10 stops, but I feel like that's too boring because I'm not going to have to stack filters. So I'm going to do 9 stops instead. And that will allow me to do a decent 20 second or maybe even 25 second exposure. Now what I'm using right now is the landscape kit for the EVO series and this comprises again of a 3-stop, an ND8, a 6-stop which is an ND64 and a 10-stop which is an ND1000 filter and it also comes with its own magnetic lens cap and again as I said an adapter that you don't really need because you're first layer can also be the adapter for the entire filter system and well I'm gonna head back to the studio I mean later on and talk about how it performs when it comes with the color and at the same time testing out finally the filters because they took a bit of time to get here because they're actually on demand and I really like that about the brand H&Y because they make things convenient they make things actually a hell of a lot simpler and 
I mean, that's the goal for what we do, right? At the end of the day, you're gonna stop looking for all the complicated gear and you're gonna be looking for these alternative options that will make it easier. Like for example, this lens now allows me to go out with just two lenses without worrying about not having the right lens because it covers most of it. And at the same time, the filters, now you can just go out with just that in your pocket and you have a filter set that you need of course it doesn't come with a gnd in the set however they do also have a gnd and even a cpl that you can get separately and what i love about this filter lineup as well is that they made it a lot more affordable and specifically they made it a lot more affordable to start using hny and this is a frustration I've had because before this, the options we have for a budget filter would have to be a brand that has terrible color performance. And what I'm doing right now is really testing the colors because I, if, if this filter setup does not have heavy color shift and it's affordable and it's simpler and it's simple, well... Dude, I mean, this is going to change the game. I am rec going to recommend the heck out of this just because it will be a really good budget option. I feel like I am going to go back to my square filters, but I will have this maybe always ready for the days wherein I don't want to bring a lot of filters and at the same time it this can be something i can just lend around to people who are just trying out landscape photography and i i think that's the beauty of it anyway i'm gonna pack up now i think i'm done shooting for the morning but yeah i'll see you in a bit from the studio to talk about this experience further and to check out also the color performance and just like that we're back in the studio and again i learned a lot of things during that trip and i actually shot that first part of the video you just saw kind of intertwined with another video where i was talking about using the tamron 35 to 150 as a substitute for two lenses when you're traveling and when you're shooting landscapes so if you haven't seen that the link is down below but yeah i learned a lot of things and i found that one of the benefits of wrapping up the videos in the studio instead of while i'm on location is the fact that i get to test things out further I also get to think about more about the implications of using these pieces of gear. And at the same time, I get to be more technical with the things that I check out. So again, this is that entire filter kit from H&Y called the Evo series. And this is specifically called the landscape kit, which means that it has an ND8, an ND64, and an ND1000. So in combination, you have a three stop, a six stop, and the 10 stop and you can go with a three stop with a single six stop with a single 10 stop or you can do 13 stops you can do nine stops you can do 19 stops if you have all three stacked together now something that i honestly have been having trouble showing you guys is just how thin this is and so i measured it's just four millimeters per filter four millimeters and if you stack them together they're just 11 millimeters the three filters are just 11 millimeters and if you put the magnetic adapter ring and the lens cap you have 20 millimeters or two centimeters your entire filter kit at just two centimeters two effin centimeters right Three stop, six stop, ten stop, thirteen stop, nine stop, sixteen stop, nineteen stops, all in two centimeters. I mean, come on. Now, my friends here at the studio have actually been calling me out that I've only been using this corner for my videos. And, well, now I have a response. It's because right here is the espresso machine. This is the coffee bar. And I have 
the coffee scale right here. And because of that, I now can tell you how much each of the filters weigh. And this is basically perfectly 18 grams. 18 grams is how much coffee we put on the porta filter to do espresso shots, for dual shots, I mean. And if we combine the three without the lens cap, then of course, that is roughly going to be around 56 grams. And if we include the lens cap and the magnetic adapter, it's 88 grams. 88 grams, you have your adapter, you have your lens cap, and you have the three filters that can do up to 19 stops as an ND filter. I don't think it can get any simpler, any smaller, any more compact than this. Now I know that if you made it this far into this video, then you might be curious about the performance. And so what I made sure to do when I got home was shoot from my balcony and check out the colors, if there would be any color shift. Now from all my years of testing out filters, I figured out that the best way to do it is to test in midday and set your white balance to a fixed Kelvin temperature and then test it out individually. So this is without any of the filters. This is the untouched JPEG with just the standard color profile. And this is with the ND8. Then next, I tested it out with the ND64. And this is with the ND1000. Moving forward, this is the ND1000 plus the ND8. So this is 13 stops. And this is now the ND1000 with the ND8 plus the ND64, which means this is a total of 19 stops. Now, I only did 30 seconds exposure here, but what I did is I opened up the aperture so that it wouldn't take me so much time just to test out for color shift. Now, definitely let me know if you saw any differences in the colors, but personally, I don't think I saw anything shift. And that's actually the most important thing I wanted to see because there are so many filter brands out there and they're selling like hotcakes because they're affordable and they're also widely available. But the problem is I see a lot of the color casts, especially when it comes to using the heavier ND filters. So the people who would suffer from these would of course be the landscape photographers. And of course, the reason why people would tend to choose the cheaper brands is mostly because they don't want to spend too much. So that's why I thought that it would be groundbreaking if this simple set that you can buy for just how much can be your first filter kit. Now, I'm not going to lie, this isn't going to be my permanent filter kit just because I still love my square filters and I also use my GNDs all the time. However, for those days wherein I don't really want to bring a lot of filters, these three filters plus the adapter, or maybe I can even lose the adapter if I'm using just one lens size, then this is actually all you need for that purpose. Which reminds me also, if you need this in multiple filter sizes, then of course you can also get the magnetic adapter for whatever size you want to use. Or alternatively, you can just use this with the Revo Ring variable filter adapter. If you're not familiar with the Revo Ring, it's this thing that was made to basically make step up rings extinct. So you can use this with 67, 72, 77, and 82 millimeters or anything in between technically because the filter thread contracts depending on what you need to use it for. So you can use this for the first layer of filters that you're gonna use because all of them still have a thread at the bottom. And then if you're gonna stack, then you can just use the magnets later on. I made the mistake, that was the lens cap. But yeah, this is three filters on the H&Y Revo ring right here. Now, one important thing I wanted to see as well is that, well, yes, technically these are thinner than most filters. And the common concern is that if you're using ultra wide angle lenses, then if you stack filters, you might see a vignette. So 
I checked that out. I used the 16 to 35 millimeter f2.8 GM version one because that's what I have, but also because a lot of the vignetting problems I've seen with filters such as the ones on the Revo ring was with that lens. So there I was, I tried all the filters on that lens at 16 millimeters. This is what I got with the first filter. So barely anything, we don't really see any vignette. On the second, we don't see anything as well. But on the third, I definitely saw vignetting. And this is at f2.8. And of course, if we adjust the aperture, that becomes more apparent. So I zoomed in just a little bit to 18 millimeters and the vignette is gone. So if you're shooting with an ultra wide angle lens with an 82 millimeter size, you will get the vignetting at 16 millimeters if you use the three filters. But if you use just two layers, then you're good. No problem. At the same time, if you really do need to use three filters, then zoom in just a little bit at 18 millimeters and the vignette is gone. And there we go. This is the new HNY Evo series filter system. This is the landscape kit with the three stop, six stop, and 10 stop. I also have here the portrait or the video kit, which has the three, four, and six stops of ND filters. And it also comes with the mist filters, with your VND filters, with the CPL, with streak filters, with all of those effects filters as well. So if you're interested in them, then I've left the link down below. And yes, that is an affiliate link. So if you buy one of these, then you automatically purchase a cup of coffee for me. So thank you for that. And you did not pay extra for that as well. But yeah, this is the HNY Evo series. I definitely recommend this if you're on a budget or if you just want to keep things simple because this will be ultra reliable. And again, with such a small kit, you already get all the ND filters that you need and you don't have to spend so much. So yes, if you have any questions, do leave them down below in the comment section, of course. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nico Valenzuela. I am a landscape and architectural photographer and content creator. And if you're new to the channel, I basically do a lot of videos talking about all of these and of course the shooting process. So if you're into that, then click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. In any case, Thanks for watching.